Hello everybody and welcome back to the best Christmas yet. I'm here today with a haul from Home Bargains. It's quite a large haul um, and in no particular order so I'm just going to jump straight in. The first thing I got from the Home Bargains that I want to show you today is this gingerbread candle. I must admit the candle section was pretty much picked over by the time I got there but I managed to get this Wickford & Co gingerbread candle. I have been buying these for a few years now and I absolutely adore um, their candles. This um, jar candle burns for 95 hours and the smell is not one of, it, it isn't a, a cheap a nasty smell. It's actually lovely um, and just smells like cookies baking. It's, it's divine. Next items I got, I'm going to show them all to you, are these light up bath bombs. Um, I believe they were £1.69 or £1.79 each um, and they have inside them a light up little um, gem. These light up gem things that they have inside there are waterproof light up, sorry, they're waterproof water activated little flashing um, jewel things um i know that in um when you go to places like disney world they have um some light up drinks there and they the light up drinks actually use these light up little ice cube things um and they are brilliant for putting into drinks so i thought once the these are for some of the the girls that i buy for and i thought once they had finished using the um bath bomb they could use they could wash off the little um ice cube thing and pop it into their drink for a bit of fun The next item I got was these hot chocolate bombs by, um, oh, it doesn't say who it's by. It just says hot chocolate bomb filled with marshmallows. Um, and you put it in a cup of um, hot milk and then the it melts. And these look fantastic. It looked kind of like, the kind of had like a bit of a Ferrero Rocher look. And I thought these would be great on the hot chocolate station. So I've got a few of those. I got some Reese's items, peanut butter cups and some peanut butter Christmas trees. Um, I think these will go in my Christmas stocking because I do um, like some of those. I am partial. Um, next I got something for Hubby's Christmas stocking and that are these little munchies. They're called munchies. Um, and it's just a tube of sweeties because we, I always put a tube of sweeties inside the Christmas stockings. Um, another two items I got for myself is one just a makeup sponge. This one has got a point on the bottom for going around sort of the eye area and it's flat on the top for sort of big areas where you're going to be putting your foundation on. And I got a jade roller as well. This was actually pretty good for $2.99 I thought. I saw something very, very similar in um, um, Primark for $4.99 so that's not bad at all and it's it's rose quartz as well on the top which is lovely um, next I've got some kitchen items that I'm just going to bring forward and show you I have never seen this before and I don't know if I've been living under a rock or something but I've always got an old oven tray that's wrapped in tin foil at the bottom of my oven to catch any drips or you know anything that bubbles over but I saw these it's an oven liner and literally, it's really quite thick. It's um, BPA and PFOA, whatever PFOA is, free. Um, it's dishwasher safe. You can cut it to size. It's non-stick and it's heavy duty. And it goes in the bottom of your oven to catch any drips and you can just wipe it clean. So I'm definitely giving that a go um, rather than the horrible tin foil in the old tin, the bottom of my oven. Next, Oxy. Um, powder stain remover um, for the laundry this this pink stuff one is lovely it smells good and it does the job I find this better actually than a leading brand I find it better than the um, I can't remember what the leading brand's name is right now but I've tried both and I actually prefer this one to be honest and it's much cheaper so here's a tip for you Two other items I got for the kitchen. We are replacing our kitchen. Our kitchen was probably last replaced in 1983. 
it is vile falling apart and disgusting so we're replacing it we have the kitchen island in at the moment and the rest of the kitchen is arriving at the end of november and to that end i'm replacing a whole bunch of things in the kitchen that just have seen better days and need to be replaced so i got this sink tidy that i thought was pretty good it can go in the dishwasher um i can't remember how much it was but I like the fact that it's got a small draining tray inside so that if, you know, when you put your um, your kitchen, your washing up brushes and things inside here, um, they'll drain off into the bottom um, rather than onto the countertop or anything. So I got one of these. I don't remember how much it was, I'm afraid, but I don't think it was more than four quid. The next thing I got is something that has been driving me crazy since we went into lockdown. When we went into lockdown, we started having obviously more meals at home and there was more time to make meals rather than grab it like in the morning we would normally grab cereal. Well, since we were in lockdown, I was making things like pancakes or, you know, oats in the morning because there was more time. Unfortunately, that meant that we were then using more cutlery and I only run the dishwasher once a day because there's only three of us. So, you know, by the time I run the, the by the time the dishwasher's full, we'd run out of cutlery. <laughs> Because we were having, a, you know, maybe soup for lunch and a toasted sandwich or something. So you'd need a spoon for the soup. You'd need a spoon for a cereal or knife and fork for bacon and eggs. And by the time it got to dinner time, there was no more cutlery left. And I had to take cutlery out of the dishwasher, wash it so we could use it to put it back in the dishwasher so I could run the dishwasher. It was doing my head in. So I bought a set of cutlery from Home, from home Bargains. Four knives, four forks, four spoons and four teaspoons. Um, and I'm so glad that I did. They are really good quality, I must admit. And we, we're quite fussy about the shape and the handles of our cutlery. So I was quite impressed with these. And these were £10, which is really a bargain because I saw something extremely, extremely similar, also stainless steel, in TK Maxx, and it was considerably more. Another candle I got from Home Bargains is this candle wick. Um, wooden it's crackling wooden wick candle it's got three different scents so warm apple and cinnamon gingerbread and frosted vanilla these crackle wick sorry these crackle wick candles are really expensive we have a, a, a sort of a boutique type pharmacy nearby us and they sell sort of perfumes and clarins makeup um sorry clarins uh skincare um and they also sell gifts and these in there are 23 pounds and that is no joke. I got this from um, Home Bargains um, for considerably less. I believe it was $5.99. And it smells so beautiful. And it's got two wicks there. And can, I don't know if you can see very well. But they are like wooden wicks. And they make like a crackling noise as if it's a fire. Um, I've had these before and they smell gorgeous. They last well. They burn well. Um, so, you know, some candles burn unevenly. They burn well. This is ma these make a fabulous gift. They really do. Uh, and they're such good quality candles. I really would recommend these. Next, unfortunately, we are in a COVID society. So I got three of these and I believe it's three for two pounds. I really like... Um, I really like the shape of these because they are not only are they adjustable so that the earpieces can, can be made smaller so that it can fit your face better, but they have a sort of shape so that it sort of goes, it sort of molds around your nose a bit better. But with the way it molds, it allows a bit of space for breathing around there. Some of the masks that are fairly flat that go over the face, um, that with the sort of pleats in the front they sort of go really close against the lips and they wipe off all your makeup and when you breathe in deeply um you land up half almost sucking in half of the face mask but that doesn't seem to happen with these so i quite like these so i've got three of those my daughter's having to wear them in high school at the moment as well so i got another three um i got a few a few weeks ago as well so these were really quite good the next thing i got for myself um, well, the next thing I got for me, actually, for my Christmas stocking, was this um, headband with the knot on the top. I wanted to try these um, to see what it would look like with my sort of face and to see if I liked it. Um, I wanted, actually, I'm looking for a black velvet one. They had them in Primark recently, and I didn't get it, and I should have, because now they only have brown ones. I didn't want it to look like 
my hair if you know what i mean i wanted a black one but they didn't have black so they had tartan they had every other color but black so i got this one at home bargains and it comes with a nice sort of silky face mask um it's upside down don't ask me why um but um the fabric is quite silky and it looks quite smart so um this i believe was 3.99 so that's not really bad considering i don't know if the sort of if this sort of headband will suit me or if I'll be comfortable with it, but I'm going to try it out and see how we get on. Next, I got a few items for the um, hot chocolate station. I got three boxes of candy canes. Um, some of these candy canes will be used to um, in a Christmas baking. Some of these candy canes will be used when I do a little Christmas um, treat video that I have in mind so stay tuned for that and some of them are just going to go on the hot chocolate station and some of them may land up on the Christmas tree and then I got oh before I get into that I got these how cute are they they're little marshmallows to go on the hot chocolate station and they are marshmallows with little faces on that just sort of go into the top of your cup um, and they were just too precious not to get they were relatively inexpensive and I believe there is, well, how many is in here? Let's have a look. See if I can get, oh, a pack of six it says. So there's six in there. Those will go on the hot chocolate station as a little treat and those will be beautiful, I think. And just really, just something a bit different, I think. And the last item I got from Home Bargains, um, besides some other... Some last items I got from Home Bargains, besides some um, food items that I've already packed away into the cupboards, are these gift bags. I had some presents that I needed to get some gift bags for, um, and sort of this size. And I just love these old-fashioned Christmas lights. They are just so sweet. And look at the gift tag. Isn't that cute? It says, Merry Christmas for 49p. I didn't think that was um, too bad. And I love the Christmas lights. And that is everything I got from Home Bargains in this whole video. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and leave me a little comment down below. Let me know what your favorite item was in this haul and also what you've seen in Home Bargains recently that you really have your eye on and that maybe you want to buy in the sales. Um, it is my Christmas wish this year to reach 1,000 subscribers. I am so close. I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to this channel, if you appreciate the content that I provide, and if you'd like to see more and don't miss a thing. So hit that notification bell, hit that subscription bell, and join the best Christmas family. Until next time, friends, keep calm and be merry.